Melbourne's CBD was again thrown into disarray this morning as the dispute between construction company Grocon and the CFMEU escalated. A late night hearing at Fair Work Australia failed to find a solution to the standoff and the dispute doesn't seem to be close to any sort of resolution, with both sides standing firm today. Police moved in in the early hours of the morning in large numbers in riot gear and on horseback. Fences were erected outside the entrance to the Grocon building site in Lonsdale Street and by early morning thousands of workers had gathered united in their defiance. The CFMEU has accused the state government and Grocon of orchestrating this morning's action to break up the blockade. This operation takes three or four days to organise. We had over a thousand police down here this morning with horses, special operations. This was well planned. That claim has been rejected by the Premier, who says their action is illegal. This is very much a decision of Victoria Police and Victoria Police responding to a request from Grocon. Police secretly escorted about 30 workers onto the site. We do have the authority to become involved when people are breaking the law and preventing ordinary workers from going to work. This morning's action follows failed negotiations at Fair Work Australia between the CFMEU and Grocon. While the union accepted a proposal for a 14-day cooling-off period, Grocon rejected it. The challenge with a two-week moratorium is that it's a very poor state to be negotiating in with the threat of further industrial action, illegal action, illegal blockading hanging over our head. The CFMEU is in a dispute with Grocon over safety, the display of union colours and shop stewards. Federal Workplace Relations Minister Bill Shorten says conflict will not lead to a resolution. I believe that the recommendations of Fair Work Australia help resolve the issue. I don't believe that a blockade resolves the issue. Grocon plans to sue the CFMEU for losses of up to half a million dollars a day. It says it's incurred during the blockade. Gloria Clash, ABC News, Melbourne.